Why do couples fight? Well, most often, we all know it's because of money. Financial feuds actually make up four out of five common fights. So how can we keep the peace, which we need to do? Mindy McIntosh from McIntosh & Associates is here joining us to help us sort this all out. Okay, first off, Mindy, what is the number one fight for couples? A lot of times, over 30% is moms, should they go back to work oh, after wow. having children or not. Okay. Um, there's so many factors that go into it, yeah. both financial and emotional. Can we afford this? Because <laughs> most times we need the two incomes. We do. Um, as we take a look at the cost of child care and daycare yeah. centers, we really take a look at, okay, should mom stay home? Should right. she just take some time off? If she stays home, that's great. She can raise the children. But if you stay out of the workforce for just two years, um, it economically inhibits your income by 30 percent. Wow. So they need to factor that in. Some say, well, we'll just, I'll just stay out for the, the five years or if we have two to three children, yeah. five to seven to eight years, and then I'll go back to work. But they really need to think about that down the road in the future as they're doing their future planning of what might happen by staying home today versus in the future. So, so do you need to really also, forth. Mindy, like plan ahead before you even... They do have kids to decide this you, and, and you save, really start saving. You do need to save. What we have okay. all of our clients do is we say, look, if you're thinking about having your spouse stay home once the children are, are here and right. are born, let's have you live off of just the husband's income for a while. Okay. So you live off the husband's income. The wife's income is going into your, your savings account for mm -hmm. saving, for raising the child, for your you know emergency type of fund situation. Okay. If you can do that, okay, babies are very expensive. Yes. <laughs> I know. Um, we have three little ones. They are expensive. Okay. So they want to go ahead and, and try to live off of that one income first. And we have tips on our website with that. And we also have a, a kind of a baby calculator okay. at wealthmichigan.com too, just to kind of see what the expenses are. Right. Because if mom stays home versus going to work, not only do we have that one income that's coming in, now let's compare that to if both of you are working, but now you're paying on average $14,000 a year it could cost for infants or $12,000 a year for toddlers at a child care center. That's right. Not so, to mention like commuting, there's gas correct. costs and all these other things you don't really think about a lot of times. <laughs> a lot. You know, so a lot of planning is important. So what else should parents really keep in mind when they're trying to keep the peace? Huge thing that I say up front is, we did this for all three of our children, we okay. do it for a lot of clients, is they need to start planning even for college for, for their okay. children from the day they're born. So. Okay. Like anything else, if we can plan ahead and do a futuristic planning, we all know that college costs have gotten extremely wow. expensive. Yes. So if they can plan for that now, we do a lot of what's called index universal life to do some tax-free planning for children. But they need to start that at birth and just start a small fund putting away. Instead of just saying, oh, we're going to save $20 here and $20 right. there out of our paycheck, it goes in their savings account and then it gets spent on a vacation or, wow. or an emergency fund that happens. Okay. Are there any other like major or common financial fights? Big financial fight as we see where, you know, a vacation or entertainment or even toys. Oh, so sure. with these children, um, it's not a, I see this, I need it now. So as we've talked before, um, teaching children that they don't need everything. Right. There's a lot of things that don't cost money that they can do that Even are if they look so cute and they right. beg and they, oh, please buy. That's right. So the moms and dads do have a struggle with that and what the yes. expenses are going to okay. when they come to our office and we sit down and say, okay, what, where did all your budget go to this month? Sure. So they need to have that monthly meeting. Okay. They can have that monthly meeting um, between the husband and wife, know where their finances are going because way too many things are hidden. Purchases get hidden. Yeah. Um, a bank account I've seen is hidden before. So if they can make sure they're not telling any lies to each other or okay. keeping doors closed, no secrets. So okay. have a monthly budget meeting um, and have their own little separate spending accounts. Okay. Um, can you include your kids in that? Because is it good to teach your you know to your kids early about spending and saving and you know this costs money if we get this well we can't have this right this month how does they that really work? need to especially with kids they want mom and dad home so mom and dad both have to work okay but they need to realize and, and value the cost of a dollar sure so we recommend the three piggy bank system we even do with our three children they're color-coded and one is give one is save and one is spend so the kids then learn as well what are they saving I love that. what are they giving and what are they spending? And it really helps them incorporate that with the whole family. And right. it really makes you work together um, as more of a common good. That's perfect. Any other tips that you can think of? You know, I think just the more open communication that you have, the more that you can sit down with, with someone like myself and we really take a look and work yes. together and plan ahead 
um, instead of on a last minute whim, right. it really can help with everything. Well, thank you, Mindy, for stopping by. And don't thank get you. overwhelmed. Mindy can help you. You have a website, too, that they can go yes, to. Yes, they can go to wealthmichigan.com um, for any in extra information or give me a call at the office. Thank you so much. Thank you.